at XTC network, we also developed the utility which is called XGate uh, that combines the power of Web3 auth and account of fraction together. And uh, that's available in our GitHub repos like uh, open source. And a lot of other projects are already using it to see the real uh, utility of the application. So welcome back to another episode of XDC Nina podcast, where we talk about blockchain, innovation, projects, technology, and of course, about the XDC network. I am Rebecca Dawson. XDC Network's Lead of Ecosystem Development and your host. Today, we're exploring one of the most important topics in the blockchain space, how to bridge the gap between Web2 users and Web3 users. So joining me today is Satish Kumar. He is leading efforts to solve onboarding challenges by making blockchain technology more accessible. And today we'll explore the barriers or the problems of Web2 users that are facing. So yeah, welcome to the podcast, Satish. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Rebecca, for having me here for the podcast. Uh, so quick introduction about myself. So I'm Satish. Uh, so I have more than like 13 plus of experience in the IT industry. And currently, I'm a, a part of XTC Network. So I work as like blockchain engineer at XTC Network. So my day-to-day -day, uh, job uh, uh, mostly revolves around like uh, developing new dApps in the ecosystem and supporting the dApps who are being built on the ecosystem. And we do like uh, support on Web2 projects to migrate into Web3 space. And apart from that, like uh, um, I do work on community building for the network. And XDC, as you know, like, is a part of like a lot of inc incubators and accelerator programs. So I work as a part of the technical team, uh, take a valuation of the projects so that like uh, we make sure like uh, we have good potential projects to onboard to the XTC network. I'm really glad to know that developers at XTC Network are very busy, not just all about coding, but, you know, supporting the projects and, of course, the users within the XTC ecosystem. So, yeah, Satish, um, from your career, what are the main challenges that Web2 users face um, when they try to onboard to Web3? Or what's really holding them back to join the Web3 revolution? Uh, that's actually a great question to start with. So as I mentioned, having worked with the uh, users in the Web2 space as well, uh, so I understand actually what's the difficulties they are facing to uh, get onboarded to the Web3 platform. I would like to start that with an example. So just consider like you have a Web2 platform and Web3 platform. So uh, if you want to get onboarded to the Web2 platform, so if you just rewind a few years back, so the way it works is, so you sign up with your email ID and you get an OTP and you just verify it on your email and then you get like onboard to the platform. And even the Web2 space is continuously evolving like to make the user experience more seamless, right? So now if you see, you get onboarded to any Web2 platform in a matter of like seconds. So you just use your socials to log into the uh, any of the Web2 platform. Just use your like Google or Facebook or whatever social logins and you'll be onboarded to the platform within a span of like few minutes, right? I think that's how a platform, uh, like regardless of whether it's like a Web2 platform or a Web3 platform. So that's how a user experience should be, right? So uh, now just take uh, in terms of Web3 platform, right? Uh, as a user, if I want to onboard it to any of the Web3 platform, so there are actually two major challenges. I would like to, there are many challenges, but I would like to actually highlight about two challenges today. The first one is about handling the wallets and the private keys. And the second one is about like the gas for the transactions. So the first thing is uh, when we talk about like onboarding, as a user, the first thing I would need to have is a wallet. So I need to like download a wallet like a XDC Pay or a MetaMask. I need to have that in my like browser first. Then I need to like sign up to the wallet. I need to like store the seed phrases as a first step. Then I need to store and, uh, my private keys securely and like safely. And if you lose the private keys, you lose like your like access to your account. So I think that's the first step your user need to do. All these steps are like hindering the users to get onboarded to any of the Web3 platforms. So literally, I'm even tired briefing about these uh, like steps uh, to get onboarded to the Web3 platform. So just think about like how a user feels like when he wants to get onboarded to the Web3 platform. It was the uh, major challenge I think the users are facing when they're trying to migrate from Web2 to Web3. And it's our responsibility to address these challenges. 
Yeah, Web2 is the widely accepted, right? Even I myself, uh, before Web2, of course, we are Web2 users where you can just use our social logins or your email login or your mobile number. Yes. So just sign up to this application to communicate with the website or to that application. Then you receive an OTP or activation link. Yes. But in Web3, as you mentioned, there are two things. One is of setting up your wallet. That means keeping your seed phrases or your private keys. And then the second is signing the transaction or and the gas fees yeah. for each transaction. So yeah, given this barrier, Satish, what does XDC Network um, do to overcome these problems of these Web2 users? I've been working on like researching in this space for uh, quite some time. And uh, um, at XDC Network, so we are trying to address these solutions with the help of like two potential like utilities, I can say. The first thing I would like to talk about is the wallet infrastructure providers and the second thing is all about account abstraction. First I would like to talk about the wallet infrastructure. So that's going to address uh, your first challenge, right? The challenge we talk about like user having to install the wallet, store the private keys and like securely and safely. Right? So that's where like wallet infrastructure comes into picture and uh, XCC network has already integrated with leading wallet infrastructure providers in the space like web 3 Auth and magic link. So what you can do with this is basically, so since we have already implemented this Web3 Auth and Magic Link on XTC Network, so uh, if you want to like onboard to, it'll say like a platform, Web3 platform, has already implemented this technologies on the application wise. So uh, if a user wants to onboard to this platform, so they can simply use their socials, like Facebook, Gmail, Google, or whatever they want, they can just use their socials to log into the platforms within like a matter of minutes or seconds to require your account with the help of socials. So you like sign up with your social account and even you can able to recover your wallets with the help of this socials recovery. This is one of the things we are currently at addressing at XDC network uh, and um, uh, we can actually see like the users are getting benefit out of it. All right. So what you're seeing for the wallet infrastructure, we will be uh, using our social logins. Yeah, to communicate that's right. With the app, right. So no more tedious process of setting up the wallet, keeping the seed phrases and even the private keys, which is very good because simplicity is always the key to, to get new users, right? And uh, this will make blockchain more accessible to, to the Web2 users. Since you already addressed the wallet infrastructure, please explain how we solve the signing of transaction and the gas fees. When we spoke about the wallet infrastructure, it helped up, uh, uh, us to address the first challenge about uh, handling the wallets. So the second challenge is about like uh, handling the gas fee and the transactions. So uh, the answer to this is uh, account abstraction. So uh, what is account abstraction? Just to put it in simple terms, uh, account abstraction gives you a way to completely abstract your account from like signing any transactions. So what does that mean? Uh, does that mean like you're not going to sign your transaction at all? That's not how it's going to work. So, so far in the Web3 space, you have seen like people are using the external wallets like XTC Pay and Metamask to sign the transactions. Consider you are like uh, uh, accessing a DeFi platform, interacting with that. And you have you might have seen like a lot of time the wallet pops up for uh, it ask you for signing and approving the transactions for you to give access to the platform for some specific operations. So this is another overhead for a web two user, right? So even if he has a wallet, he every time it pops up, you have to sign the transactions and approve it. So uh, and it takes times as well, right? Uh, so the way account abstraction addresses problem is basically account abstraction gives you a way to create smart accounts. What is a smart account? Basically, a smart account is uh, uh, is a powerful uh, smart contract utility, which actually gives you a flexibility or customizability on the way you want to handle your transactions. Say, like instead of you handling and signing the transactions, you can give the power of you to a smart account. So the smart account knows like what kind of transaction it needs to sign or whether it needs to use your session keys or any other like uh, socials to sign the particular transaction. So basically, it's completely customizable. That's how uh, uh, that what makes it more powerful. It completely eradicates the use of externally owned accounts, and it gives the power of the, that particular EOI accounts to the smart accounts. So you can handle your transactions more seamlessly. 
So that's the first benefit account abstraction provides. And now I would like to address about the second uh, thing which account abstraction provides is basically all about the uh, gasless transaction. In account abstraction, we have a component called Paymaster. So the power of Paymaster is basically, it allows the user to skip the need of paying the gas for the transaction. So what does that mean? So it means like if you are building a Web3 platform with using account abstraction infrastructure on XTC network, you are basically allowing your users to pay, uh, I mean, uh, to use your platform without the need of paying the gas fee. So you are going to bear the gas fee on the behalf of the user but at the same time, you collect the fees from the user in terms of any other kind of transaction fee. But in simple terms, it eradicates the user. At XTC Network, we also developed the utility, which is called XGate. Uh, that combines the power of Web3 Auth and Account of Fraction together. And uh, that's available in our GitHub repos like uh, open source. And a lot of other projects are already using it to see the real uh, utility of the application. Okay, so yeah, using social logins, I am communicating to DAP, to the decentralized application, as if it's Web2, but unknowingly, or at the back scene, I am already creating my Web3 wallet, right? And with this account obstruction, basically what we're trying to do is the signing of transaction will be done by smart contracts. I don't have to do it manually, correct? Yeah, that's true. And also with this Paymaster, we are basically sponsoring the gas fees. I mean, as a user, I no longer have to, you know, um, uh, think about the gas fees because I have the sponsored gas fee, correct? Yeah. All right. Well. It seems like it's a perfect combination um, with the social logins, but again, it's decentralized and combined with the account obstruction. So I think you have prepared a demonstration combining these two solutions. So let's, let's see that uh, in action. Let's play the demo. Hi everyone, here's a quick demo to showcase the power of Web3 Auth and account abstraction and the challenges users are facing and how this overcomes. So we have developed a utility at XTC network, which is called XGate, which can be easily integrated with any of the Web3 platform. So to consider this as a Web3 platform, as a user, I'm logging in. I'm just going to use Google sign in or any other socials to log into the application. And behind the scenes, it's creating an EOA wallet for you. And once this is completed, you can see the smart accounts has been created. So these three are the smart accounts we have created for this particular example. So this is the first address, the smart account, which is going to submit any of the transactions now. You can see the balance is 18.81. So now for this example, I'm going to take a simple ERC20 token minting action, and this can be any of the action you do it on the blockchain. So let's consider we are going to mint 10 tokens with the help of smart account. So you can see the things are happening behind the scenes, but you don't get any MetaMask pop-up for you to approve. So you can just wait for a few seconds and you can see the tokens are already minted. So this particular example, still we have submitted the transaction using smart account, but the smart account pay the gas fee. You can see it's reduced. The second example I'm going to show you is the same thing, but how uh, DAP, which is powered by the Paymaster, is going to act. So this is still going to mint 10 tokens to the address, but I will show you something interesting once this transaction is completed. So it's going to take like less than one or two seconds now. And yes, it's completed here. And you can see the tokens are already minted. And this is something interesting here. You can see this is the account uh, um, actually submitted the transaction. But after you submit the transaction, if you check the balance, it's still the same. So which means Paymaster is powering the gas fee on behalf of the user. So I think this quick demo would have uh, made you understand like how Web3 Auth and Account Abstraction can make the uh, user to make the user onboarding process so seamless. Thank you so much for watching. So great demo seeing both a uh, solution into action, you know, um, it's simplified, but still maintaining the security, transparency, and again, the decentralized architecture of it. So yes, Satish, I'm looking ahead. Um, what do you see as the future of onboarding Web2 users into Web3 to the broader XDC ecosystem? And what major changes do you see in the near future? To answer the question, the, I think the future is almost here. Uh, uh, so the way I um, mean is like, 
So we are actually uh, at XTC, like we already made the user experience both seamless with the help of like combining the capabilities of uh, account abstraction and wallet infrastructures like Web3 Auth and Magic Link. Uh, we are actually seeing that in action, to be honest. So these are the applications like have made the user experience more seamless. So uh, as a user, if I want to log into any of these applications, I just use my social logins so uh, to log into the application no need to worry about my uh, like private keys so everything is stored for me and no need to even have the gas fee so uh, i simply use this application just the way i use a web2 application uh, we can actually witness there is a good user adoption and we, we are actually seeing the community uh, giving good feedback to it so that what actually motivates us to work towards it i think the next thing uh, uh, you can expect uh, on a blockchain or xtc network is something called chain abstraction so uh, even at xdc network like we are working on like uh, uh, providing some kind of solutions for the chain abstraction account abstraction makes the account completely abstract right so the user does not need to have their own accounts but at the same time chain abstraction is going to make the chain abstract so just imagine as a user i log into a platform you really don't know like what chain you are inter inter uh, like uh, interacting with may it be with xdc network or any other uh, layer one networks so you really don't know like on what chain you're interacting with it's going to be completely abstract i think that's the uh, uh, next innovations uh, like we are working on right so it, it's very exciting to see the the future possibilities in within xdc network and of course um we're glad to know that xdc network is actively you know looking for solutions to onboard more users from web 2 to web 3 so yes, Satish, um, before we end the podcast, any final message to our viewers or community members? Uh, okay, I just have a couple of things to mention. So uh, as we spoke about like onboarding the users from Web2 to Web3, so the way it's going to work in the near future is like consider like how we are in, uh, the users are interacting and using the internet. So we never know like uh, most of them no doesn't know like how the in internet is working. So the protocols or networks, whatever underneath the internet, how it's working with. And the way blockchain is going to work is similar to this. So in the near future, if you take after a few years, so everyone is going to use blockchain without even knowing like they're using blockchain. So that's the kind of adoption we are expecting and that's what we are working towards. And uh, um, I think we have to like bring in more awareness for the users to like uh, get the power of blockchain and start using it. And once we make this onboarding process seamless, definitely like we are going to onboard like next billion of users to the Web3. And uh, yeah, um, at XDC Network, like uh, we are uh, continuously conducting a lot of uh, workshops and like uh, events uh, with, in terms of understanding the technicals and the blockchain and the recent developments. So we have the Innovation Hub in Dubai in India. We have a lot of online meetups happening. So yeah, I would greatly encourage like uh, anyone uh, to join the space and like uh, benefit out of it. And uh, yeah, uh, today we discussed on a high level about account abstraction. But if you want to get more in depth, please like visit uh, our forum xdc.dev where we have a lot of uh, articles on account abstraction and some of the demos out there. And yeah, please follow our uh, socials to get like uh, latest updates about like the innovations we do. Right. Thank you, Satish, for sharing all the information explaining to us what is social logged in in terms to Web3 and of course the account obstruction. So yes, thank you so much for your very in-depth uh, explanation to this and again sharing us or giving us a glimpse about chain obstruction. So yes, uh, for anyone who wants to know more about XDC Network, please go to www.zintin.org and if you have any question to Satish about uh, account obstruction or chain obstruction, please post it to www.xdc.in. Until our next episode. Bye.